Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. So in this one I'm going to be tackling a very common problem which is how do you convert a number to a string with formatting such as comma formatting. So the setup I have here is I've created a variable num which is referencing the number 10 million point five zero, and below it I've created another variable num formatted which at the moment is set to the value of num but when I've done some formatting on this right hand side it's going to be the value of num with some formatting applied. And finally, I'm writing both values to my HTML document using a template string. So at the moment, it looks like this, both values are the same. Okay, so let's see now how we can add some comma formatting to that original number. So the old way of doing this was to write a regular expression and then applying it to the number, but now we have a powerful tool that will do most of the heavy lifting for us. And that tool is the to locala string method. Now, if you want to ensure standard American English comma formatting, then you need to enter an argument in the first position here, and it's a two part language country code. So the first part is lowercase two characters, and it's the country code. So in this case, for English, it's en, and the second part is also two characters, but this time uppercase. So in this case, it's going to be US. Now, if I save this and look at the result in the browser, you see that the number is now formatted with standard American English comma formatting. So if you're happy with this fixed result, then you don't need to do anything more. But the really powerful thing about to locala string is that it can adapt the formatting of the number to a user's preferred language settings. And to do that, all you need to do is to remove the argument in the first position here, and it will do that automatically. Now, my preferred language setting is English, so you're not seeing any difference in this result as I refresh the page. But if a user from Germany were to access this page, then they would see this instead. So compared to English number formatting in Germany, the commas and decimal points are swapped around. Also be aware that the formatting can differ amongst English speaking countries. So if somebody from India whose preferred language is English rather than Hindi accesses this page, then the formatting of the numbers will look like this. And it's not just the comma and decimal point formatting that can change to locala string can change the output of the number completely. So for example, Arabic spoken in Egypt. So for that, the formatting looks like this. I'm guessing this is correct. If it's not, then somebody who knows Arabic better than I do, let me know in the comments. Let's switch back now to standard American English because there's a couple more options that I want to show you. So EN US again. Now you see the formatting after the decimal point. If this is a price, then you probably want two numbers after the decimal point, but at the moment only one is appearing. So the way that you can solve this is by passing in an object in the second argument position to locala string. So I'll do that now. Okay, so to set a minimum number of digits after the decimal point, you need to create a property in this object called minimum fraction digits. This property name is recognized by to locala string. And as a value, you set the minimum number of digits you want as a number. Similarly, you can set a maximum number of digits you want after the point. So if I fix that at two, now there's always going to be two digits after the decimal point. If you're doing this because you want to display a price, you can even get to locala string to add currency symbol formatting. So again, you need to specify this in the options object that we've already passed in in the second position. Now I can actually get rid of these two because currency formatting is going to do that for me. So to display the number with currency formatting, you need to create a new property called style and the value of that needs to be currency and this part is always the same. Now you create a second property called currency and you set the value of that to the currency you want to format the number in. So you enter a currency code here. So if you want to display the number in US dollars, you would type USD. Now the number will appear in US dollars. If you'd like it in euros, then change the currency code and now it's in euros. Now you may have noticed that I'm still using standard American English formatting. Now if I want the currency formatting to adapt to the language preference of a user, 
I might try deleting this here and running it like this, but this isn't going to work because to low color string is expecting the options object in the second position. So if you do this, it will format the number, but there is no currency formatting because the object is in the first position, but to low color string is expecting it in the second position. So what you need to do instead is write undefined here, and then this will adapt to the locale of the user and keep the currency formatting. Okay, so that is it for this tutorial. If you found it useful, please consider hitting the like button down below this video. And if you'd like to see more content from us, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.